Okay guys, you'll never believe what I'm up to now. But we are going into Family Dollar today because I'm gonna start homesteading in my RV and I'm starting with a worm farm. What? I see tubs. Okay, so you can't use clear. You have to use colored, and these are a little bigger than I wanted. The gray is seven and the gr green is five. So I'm gonna go with the green. Gonna have to do some rearranging in my RV to make this work. We'll see. Okay, so I ended up going, since the rain, you don't have to wait on me, that rain or snow or whatever that is, is that's coming in will catch up with us. I ended up going with a long black garden, gardening um, pot. Did two, you, you need, have to have two of them. Did you need potting soil? They didn't have it. Oh. Um, and uh, so um, we, I did that. And now we're having to hurry because let me just see snow coming in. So we are hurrying to try to get gasoline and finish up our errands and get back home. And it's already beginning to sprinkle. We got back in time and the weather held out long enough for Jana, frugal RV gal, to drill holes in the bottom bucket. I'll put some rocks in the bottom one so that when this sets in there, it won't seal completely on the bottom. And these wonderful holes that Jana just drilled should be all the oxygen that they need. We're gonna find out. I bought four newspapers at uh, Family Dollar. I'm cutting the color out of them and then they're nicely spaced in the columns, especially the classified ads. And I'm going to use these strips. I'm going to uh, soak them and then drain them and that will be the bedding for the worms. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I've done here. Um, you're supposed to put the food first, which I've done some coffee grounds and they say you can do the paper, uh, some uh, chopped up lettuce, and then underneath here, that is uh, an old banana, not old, but uh, a banana peel um, crushed up. I'm afraid that I probably have this newspaper still too damp. I think it's supposed to be fluffy. And, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and on top of that then is supposed to be the worms. I went in and got some more dirt because you're supposed to put um, a couple of inches of dirt on top of them. And I put some dirt on bottom too because these are night crawlers. And when it is cold, uh, they can crawl down to like six feet. So I wanna give them plenty of depth. And then you put a single sheet of newspaper on top of all of that to absorb, absorb moisture too. So I am going to get the worms out in them and put them in here and let's see how this goes. Okay, we bought these worms, gosh, almost four weeks ago and I'm gonna have to set the camera down to get the lid off. Okay, I have been pulling out all of the um, casting, the worm casting, which is their poop, and keeping them a little bit fed and moist. And they're still alive, but they're not as lively as they used to be. So I'm hoping I haven't spent, uh, waited too long. Let's see. And I don't know what else to do other than to just kind of put them in here. We have two baskets of them, two tubs and uh, I'll spread them out and put the other tub in and put some dirt on top of them. And they have all that other underneath them. Fingers crossed. You can also use pot potting soil. We didn't find any while we were in town today. And so I will probably put potting soil in here for them as well if they make it. And um, again, I'm just trying to do what um, I've learned on YouTube and we'll see how it, how it works. I didn't have, um, couldn't find any screening in town 
which is what I'm going to ultimately use for my lid if they make it. But for now, I'm going to uh, just put Reynolds wrap over it. Hey, you guys. So there's the home of the worm farm. <laughs> It sticks out about an inch or two, but um, I'm used to walking around it because my desk chair is right here. And so Bandit's already playing with his toys, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, you guys, that was a total fail. Worms breathe through their bodies, and I had it too wet. And then the dirt was too dry. So I did some more research and found out that you can mulch leaves. And by that, I, I'll show you what I did. Uh, but I had to go out and harvest leaves. We are in high desert forest. There is a bunch of ponderosa pines. But I managed to find a small grove of small oak trees. And was able to go out and harvest enough leaves, two buckets full, that I was able to start over on a new bed. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it all up and I may get my loppers out and then moisten it and give the worms some proper bedding. And I'll pull out any twigs or anything that is in here. The final result after probably two, two and a half hours of cutting and, and getting all of the twigs and stuff out. And now I'm going to put that back in with the worms. Hopefully they're okay because the newspaper did not work. Okay, so I've put some lettuce, coffee grounds, bananas, on top of the new substrate of leaves and now I'm supposed to put the worms and then the leaves but that means I can't see them but we're gonna have to just trust here we go do you want this in there with the what is that there's oh, a cardboard a cardboard cardboard just... off of there yeah we can we can put that in there she put that cardboard in there and that's awesomeness but you don't put paper in without wetting it and so I'll spritz that down and I'm learning this as I go but I want to show y'all. Look, I have happy worms. Where'd they go? They're like, they're burying down. They're so mad at me for disturbing them. Look, there's one, but they're happy worms. So I've got happy worms and we can add some more to it now. There's one. Yeah, there's a happy worm. Oops, see, they're fast when they're happy. They're fast. Um, so, oops, there's one trying to get out. Mm -hmm. So we're making a food platform and Jana had to come help me because I couldn't figure out the dimensions and thank you, Jana. Mm -hmm. So um, my understanding is you put an inch of your medium underneath it and this medium, move baby worm, I need you to come up here out of my way, please, thank you. The medium that I made was from oak leaves and I, I just cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and mulched them up. You put an inch of your medium down and then a, a cardboard or paper platform, wet it, put your food in. I'm sorry, he's trying to get away. It's so funny. I love seeing them happy. They're all coming up. They're like food. And then you put your food and then you put um, your, your, the top platform on and more dirt. So we'll see how it goes. I don't understand this. I don't understand why they need a platform. But they need a plate. They need like a plate. Do. I don't know. I don't get it. It seems like to me they wouldn't go eat if there's no dirt there. Okay, so I'm going to give them apple. I took the lettuce out that they haven't eaten, and I'm going to chop it up. Here is a baked potato we didn't finish. The coffee grounds and everything. Think about ah! You get back in there. You get back in there. Jana, you're supposed to be on worm patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Bandit almost had worm for breakfast. Breaky, worm breaky. Yeah, he's down here. He's oh, I hope there's not any down there. I didn't see, but... And oh yeah, Sammy donated some peas and carrots from her food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. You're such a good girl. Thank you. Escapee. Oh, peas. 
right, I'm just gonna keep chopping until this is really tiny and then put it in there. I have put the food, I chopped up lettuce, tomato, the peas and carrots, potato, um, apple. Tomato? No, potato. Potato. Apple. Lettuce. Yeah, and now I soaked the top piece of cardboard. I didn't soak the bottom one, but I'm gonna soak the top one. And it just goes on top. You don't have to cover the food on top, but they said you want the food on a platform on bottom. I have, again, I have no idea why. Let me just cover it up. I think that's a that's how I'm supposed to do it. Little worm, there's one. They're happy. They're happy worms. They're happy worms. There's another one. They're happy worms. There's some lettuce. And then you spray it all. Yeah, and then I'm going to water it because I water you. Okay, so once a week you put in one cup of food. Uh, supposedly, I'm I'm just going by what I'm learning on YouTube. If somebody has a different idea, let me know. Little worm, you should probably be down there before I start watering. Um, once a week, you put in one cup of food on one side of the bin, and I water every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because worms are ninety percent water. This was a little bit dry, so I'm adding a little bit extra today. I usually don't water this much. And that's all I do. Yay! And then we'll put it back in its the bottom one, which has rocks in it um, for base. And uh, starting to grow stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, uh he says, I'm thirsty, man. I need some water. They're still alive. Yeah, we've had them, what, four or five weeks now? Yeah. They lived four to eight years old. All right, so we are fixing to add our first batch of worms. We just bought a new batch of Canadian night crawlers. I think there are four or five worms left in here. Uh, and they are doing really well. So we'll see how adding these to the mix goes. Fingers crossed. Is that it? That uh, should be 11, 12. Now, what do I want to do with this stuff? I think I'll just... Oh, there's another one. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Let's put you. Let's put you down here. Let's put you down there. There you go. And we have a, a worm, worm container. Container to take fishing. I'm gonna give them a little bit more water because that feels kind of dry. Since I added more worms. I guess I should have checked the food. I should have done that for it. Oh, they got plenty. Oh, it's that's moldy. I don't think it's supposed to be moldy. I don't think it is either. So I think we'll take that out. Maybe that's why you put a thing under it. Thing on it. Well, that's not good. That means they don't have any food. Well, we can feed them when we get back to the park. Alright. Well, then you're going to have to turn the camera off and get me a bag. <laughs> okay. Bye! Okay, so we just opened it up. And we got nice wiggly. Can y'all see him? Wiggly. So this is, like I said, my fourth try. But they're looking pretty good to me. And uh, this is a nice consistency. It's nice and moist. But, uh, they tend to run from you pretty fast. There's another one. Very healthy. He's, he's not happy about being moved. But they look pretty good to me. So I'm gonna say that this medium 
And this uh, consistency is really working. There's another one. Oh, look at him. He says, leave me alone, leave me alone. Um, I want to dig down a little bit deep. Make sure that the bottom isn't too, uh, too wet. It doesn't, oh, look, they're all bunching up and that's a good sign. Oh, nice. Cause they didn't, they weren't put in there all bunched up. So that's a good sign. Let's check the food. Um, there's a couple of worm. He says, he says, what y'all doing up there? All right, so we're gonna lift the platform and see how our food is doing. It'll take them a while. There's not very many worms in here, and so it's gonna take them a while to eat this much food. I think I'll put more paper in here, and um, we are going to call attempt number four a good, a good worm worm um, worm base they seem to be very happy there wasn't too much mold there's a bunch of worms i don't think you can see them because of the sun and the shadows but there's a bunch of worms in here feeding and so i'm saying we have now a successful worm farm and i'll put some more paper in there um uh, but I'm thinking these guys are very happy and doing very good. So two thumbs up.